Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all, and welcome to Motivated to the Max. I am your host, the one and only Daryl Tisdale, aka Daryl to Motivate. I pray and hope that you all are doing great on this Wednesday. That's right, it is Wednesday. And some people of my Facebook also, oh my god, he came out live. Right. I made a note, I made a comment on the page. Saying like I didn't do I didn't do the live on Monday. Cause I had some technical issues and stuff that was going on, but I was coming at you guys today on Wednesday for a live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So if you're in the podcast land, please make sure to share, like, share, follow. You know, send it to your cousins, send it to your moms, and everything like that. And let this and let this podcast go across the nation. Facebook land, please share, you know, please share, share with your friends and everything as well. Cause like I said, we can get all across the nations and everything. So now here go your three, here go the three rules of how the way that we roll things here and motivated to the max. Rule number one, we come in here hot, honest, open, and transparent. Rule number two, <laughs> we come in here lit, living in thankfulness. Yeah, I know, living in thankfulness. You know, we just had a whole thing about being thankful, like on for the whole for all last week. And then rule number three, be yourself. Trust me, you do not have to fake or have to be like, oh, well, you know, you gotta put up some type of um, facade or anything like that. Be yourself. If you are a hype person, yo, be hype. If you like one of the quiet, you know. But be yourself. Don't ever change how the way that you are. You know, be yourself because you look. If people don't like how the way you are, if people that if people can't stand how the way that you're being, like the type of person that y'all like, a, you know, you might be a, a cool person, a laid back, chill person, and people cannot understand and like you for who you are. You know what? They can get the two fingers. That's just me. Don't you know? That's just me. That's just me. But then, yes. Also, let's do this 10 second count off right here for the 10 second detox. From where we get rid of all these negative bad vibes and everything like that. Here go your 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just cast them things out right now. So we're all we just look, all we aiming for is positive vibe, nothing but love, nothing but positive feedbacks and everything like that for everybody. Because you know what? Everybody deserves to, to have something positive in their life. They don't always have to carry anything negative that's, that's going to hold them back from doing the things of what God needs for them to do. So, I pray and hope you guys are doing well on, on today. Or hope you guys are doing well on this week. You know, we consider Wednesday as hump day. And, then, you know, since it's the halfway point, you know how the way we say it. Um, you know, with Maximizing Life Family, Worship Channel, Unashamed Plug. You know, in other places, we always say this is Wednesday. So happy Wednesday to you guys. That's right, Wednesday. That's W I N, you know, W I N S, and then day. So happy Wednesday to you guys. I'm um, praying, hope you guys are doing well. Me, I'm doing, I'm doing great. I have been busy. I have been very, very, very busy. Um, you know, doing stuff for like here for a podcast world for like, you know, trying to. Trying to expand the team tears their brand even more. Um, and some of you guys that were listening on Facebook Live this morning, you like, man, what was that song that he was playing on this morning? Uh, I was playing Steve Steve Macklemore, and I was Party in the Hills featuring Andy Menio. And I forgot the other person because it, it cuts it off. I can't read it. So yeah, if you all wanted to hear what that song was, it was Part, Party in the Hills, uh, Steve Macklemore featuring Andy Menio. And so I just played that song because I feel hyped today, actually. I don't know why I feel so hyped and jittery and, and ready to go. But, you know, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Today, I want to come with you guys. Um, You know, for where we all may go through some things in life. Um, whatever situation stuff may go through and everything. You know, you know, personal things and everything like that. I always will try to find a way... I was trying to find a way, you know, we have some people, I was trying to find that silver lighting, you know, like that, that light, you know, saying, well, hey, well, everything's going to be okay and everything like that. Cool. I mean, everything's going to be okay. Um, but, you know, we may be going through things from where people don't been talking about us, been talking junk about us, been 
pretty much doubting your, you know, doubting your game. Be like, you know what, man, you can't do this or you can't do that and everything like that. You know what's the funny thing about it? About it is, yo, I have found a way to smile through it. And I ain't talking about no fake smile. Let's go ahead and get that correct right now. I ain't talking about no fake smile. I'm talking about like I'm genuine, cheesing, happy. You know, it's like I still have that fuel of fire to say, you know, even though they talk, people talk about saying, man, you can't do this and you can't do that. All that yin yang or whatever that, man, let me tell you something. I got so much fuel in my fire right now. It's not even funny. I took a, you know, I I took a little couple of days, you know, for the holidays, you know, to be to myself and everything, you know, get some things together and everything like that. But while I was getting things together, then you know, while I'm, you know, I'm trying to work things out, trying to get some some stuff worked out and everything like that. Like I had a meeting on, I had a meeting on Monday. That's one of the reasons why I'm motivated to the match didn't come on live on Monday. I had a meeting on Monday, and so then like I'm going, you know, I'm going through all these transitions, you know, and then like I'm right here preparing to. I'm right here prepared to get ready to, to complete my part of the challenge that I gave out to everybody in podcast land and Facebook land because I'm almost at the mark from where I have to be doing motivated to the max every every day during the week. I'm at that mark. I'm close to that mark. I'm like, I think I'm like two. I think I'm gonna say like two, three, two, three more shares away to hit that mark to be doing motivated to the max. You know, Monday through Friday, you know, I ain't doing seven days a week, but like Monday through Friday, and then just do straight, motivated to the max. Uh, and then thank you all for everybody who's been sharing, who's been listening, downloading, listening on all the different platforms and everything. You guys have been, you guys have been very helpful. So I guess you guys was like, pretty much you guys were like, man, shoot, we accept the challenge. We going to listen in. We going to do the same. We going to share it. We going to do everything. We going to get you up there. So I appreciate you guys so much. And so we make it so funny. This other way, the story came. This other way, this is coming about. When I made the challenge, it was almost was like, you know, I never, I didn't doubt that I was going to make that goal on having the shares and everything like that. I just wasn't expecting it to happen so fast. From where I made the challenge, like two weeks or so before Latasha's birthday. Now. After the Tasha's birthday and everything, I'm like, I'm close. I'm like two, I'm like two or three away from hitting from reaching that goal. Some for where, you know how sometimes you say, you man, you had to put up a shut up. I mean, pretty much I'm, I'm about to put up. I'm about to go ahead and make it do what it do from what with whatever we did the challenge on and everything. But during my whole process and everything, you know, from where you think like in the back of your mind, it's like, man, like this is not going to happen. How this thing going to happen and everything like that? Why am I going through all this? Why am I doing this right here? You know what? People's really not paying attention. People's really not listening to me or anything like that. But then you know what? I had to learn one. I had to learn how to block out. I had to block. I had to learn how to block out the negatives. And some people are like, well, Darren, you know, we're not like you. We can't block out the negatives just like that and everything like that. Yes, you can. You can block out your negatives. Sometimes, yo, and this is something from where I had to learn too. Sometimes the major, the major negative that I was hearing or what like that was me talk, was me talking down about myself. And I had to get out of that mode about talking down about myself. I had to get out of that mode from where, yes, I might have. Yeah, I know we keep a hot eyes open and transparent here. Yes, it has been times for where I have done fluffed up a lot of things in life. I done jacked up, messed up. I mean, you name it. I probably, I probably done did it, or whatever like that. But then the same token, I had to learn. One, I had to learn how to forgive myself. That's rule. Look, that's rule number one for you guys for the day. You might have messed up in life, or messed up in like areas from where like it's been very important. And for where some people probably may not may not even talk to you and everything like that. You don't ask for forgiveness and everything like that. And they probably still won't forgive you or they forgave you. And then they just don't roll with you or rock with you like that anymore and everything like that. Yo, rule number one, yo, forgive yourself. Because re- cause remember, it's not always going to be like that. You know, you just had a rush. You just had a, a patch right now from where, okay, cool. I know I fluffed up. I know I messed up and everything. Now... Don't be at a point for where that you're trying to go and fix it. 
where from where you go from where you try to go and fix it and then you and then you cause more damage than for you than trying to fix it. Be at a point right now, so you know what? I know I messed up. I had to resume life. I had to keep on going. So I had to forgive myself so I can be able to keep on pressing and be able to um, and keep on going forward. As one thing for what I had to learn from, I was talking to, I have, a, I have a new friend. I got a new friend. And this friend is from like overseas. I don't know. We just started talking. We were talking business or something like that one time. And all of a sudden, we just became, we just became friends and talking. And... And my friend was saying that, you know, like, I can't always live in my past. You know, because I done messed up a lot of things in my past from where I done got to the point for where I don't trust people no more. I can't do it. I'm not doing this anymore. Like, the person literally made a vow and was like, you know what? I'm not going to do X, Y, and Z anymore. And so, like, we was talking and everything. I was like, well... I said, well, then, you know, she, no, the person was explaining why, you know, she was vowing not to do this, you know, never vowing not to do this anymore or anything like that. And so then I was like, well, I said, so then like, what are the things are you doing from where you won't make the same mistakes like you did last time? And so like we was talking and everything like that. And they were saying, you know, they were telling, they were telling about the things of what, you know, what done happened and transpired in their life and everything. And so I said, well, instead of looking at the negative, look at the, look at the positive thing now. Now you done, you done moved on from that situation and now you're starting to do better for yourself. I said, focus on that point right there. Focus on the positive thing right now. Yes, we know. Look, remember in the past, we fluffed up. We did everything, you know, we did everything to fluff up everything. Cool. I got it. Cool. I remember what I did in my past, but I'm also using for what I did in my past to let me be able to focus on my focus on my present, be able to focus on the future, on what's going to be going on in life. Because now I have to be at a point right now where like I have to learn how to forgive myself for what I done did in the past for why I can move forward. And so now I said, so now. Yeah, you, I said, yeah, like, I said, yes, it may hurt from where everything that happened in your past and everything like that, but let's try to stay focused right now in the present. Let's stay focused on, you know, for where you're trying to aim towards for the future right now. And so, like, you're trying to do all these things right now. You know, you're trying to, you trying to, look, you trying to, the person I'm talking to, man, they're trying to start up a multi million dollar company. They're trying to do this. They're trying to do that. And I said, okay, cool. Focus. I say yes. We all make mistakes and everything, but yo, focus on your present. Focus on the things of what's going to help to keep you moving forward, not go backwards. And so, like today, after I just finished having a having a conversation, you know, with my friend and everything like that, I was like, you know what, yo, I have to be the same way. I can't be looking. I can't be looking backwards for everywhere for what I done messed up, jacked up everything back in the past and everything like that. I have to be willing to move forward to forgive myself and to be able to move forward to go the head towards my future. And so I'm like, well, now, okay, cool. I said. And then, and then, trust me, it was not that easy to be like, you know what, well, I forgive myself and then I kept on moving. Man, I mean, I was tussling, I was rustling, I was sitting right here thinking I was no good. I was sitting right here thinking like, yo, I'm this and I'm that. You know, everything for what, everything for what all the negative people were saying about me, man, I was starting to believe it. And then I was starting to talk about it myself. And so then I had to learn, God had to turn me around, but like, no, 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 no. Look, I done forgave you. Now it's time for you. And now it's time for you to forgive you. So because like you have to keep on moving forward because you cannot be stuck right here in this place for very long. You have to be able to keep on moving. So then like now, I don't, so now, you know, now I done had this conversation and I said, you know what? I got to keep on moving on my future. I can't just sit right here thinking about like what, you know, everything for what I done did in the past and where I done fluffed up and everything like that. Yo, like me and my wife, we were talking, we were talking not too long ago from where she was like, well, you know, like, I'm like, I don't want to be like, how the way that we did this time? Or I don't, we don't want to do this how the way that we did this time right here. Or, you know, we was like, we were focusing on things with what we did in the past. And from where I'm at the point now, I said, look, I can't focus on what I did in the past. I can only focus on today and then focus on the future because I have to be able to keep on moving. Yes, people may not talk to me. People may not like me anymore about that, but I have to stay focused on my present. I have to stay focused on moving forward. I cannot be stuck in that place from where I don't want to move because if I sit right there in that place and keep on reminiscing on all the bad things that done happen in life and everything like that,